I'm meeting with Cam and Summer Johnson, who are raising a family, and <gasps> killer bees. I'm going to follow them for the day to mainly find out why. Why in God's name not leave this honey farmer with death boxes to white people? All right, fine. I'm here. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> What's the first step in this beekeeping situation? This is your first step. Where what? This will keep you safe. I'm supposed to be saving this laundry hamper? Yeah. Keep the bees off your face. No keep problem. Keep it cool. Mm. I think one of the reasons black people haven't gotten into beekeeping is because of the outfits. No. They're bland and boring. So I put my own together. You know, I just wanted to wear something like low key, slightly embellished, just, you know, real simple. Whoa. That's, that's a bee suit. Right! A little pop, a little razzle dazzle. I mean, you look like a big flower. They might try to pollinate you. She's gonna get stung. All right. Now, as black people, we're in a constant state of danger, right? What made y'all want to be in more danger? <laughs> so we moved out to the suburbs when Zach, our second child, was five years old. He had really bad seasonal allergies. He struggled with asthma. We'd be in the emergency room, you know, a couple times a year. And so we wanted something natural instead of pumping his body full of steroids and medicine. And so we read about raw honey, right? The anti-inflammatory properties, how good it was for him. We said, you know what? We got some land. Let's experiment with beehives. And we got hooked. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's not a jump nobody makes, right? Like, you're not like, oh, my kid is lactose intolerant. Let me start an almond farm. It actually worked. He had no, like, allergies or asthma after. We cured him in a year's worth of honey. Turns out, if you have seasonal allergies, local raw honey has healing properties with allergens native to your area. Over time, a person may become less sensitive to that pollen. So basically, raw honey saves lives. That's cheaper than health insurance. Like I've been saying from the beginning, more black people definitely need to get in on this. It's more black people who be keep than you think. Yeah. Uh, predominantly white, but it's changing. Okay, so there's y'all and dozens. We know dozens of beekeepers. Every a state. A dozen is only twelve. <laughs> well, that's Crazy. fair. So, what is the reason that like beekeepers for the most part are white? I mean, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of like sy systemic reasons of like access to like land and I mean, you do need some space to beekeep, and so uh, you know. We always admonish African Americans to buy in the country too. Mm -hmm. So they'll have more lands and there's more agriculture going on. So uh, land and racism, got it, all right. Yeah. If sacrificing myself will inspire others in the black community to become beekeepers, then I'm ready to meet these bugs with dagger butts. But mainly, I'm doing this because I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere in New Jersey and can't get an Uber home. Well, it's a good thing your son wasn't allergic to electricity. I'll be the first black Amish people. All right, hold up, hold up. What? This is too many bees. I'm not comfortable, this doesn't feel like a safe space. How do you make them like, calm down? Um, Smoke. Yes, that yeah. will keep you safe. Summer puts lavender in it. So it's like flavored smoke. Sure. These bees are just vaping? Oh. Yeah. yeah, so it simulates like a forest fire, right? So they're, they're distracted from us, the intruders are thinking. How do I get out? How do I get out of this? And they just get calm. So the smoke makes them think that their hive is on fire. But they get calm about it. Yeah, because if my apartment was on fire, I'd be real calm. <laughs> Sounds insane. My only knowledge of bees is that a swarm of them killed Macaulay Culkin and my girl. Yo, man, f this. So if they'll do that to a little white boy, I don't know what they would do to a grown black woman. Ready? We're opening the box? Yes. One, two. They look like they're getting mad. Three, let's do it. Ah! It's dripping! Smoke them, smoke them. That's your job. Nice. Keep them smoke. See? You're doing yes, great. girl. You're doing great. See? Calm them down. See uh, all this honey here? Oh, they just busted out the frame. But it's see how calm they are? See, so you're not getting stung. If they were aggressive, they'd be stinging the front of your veil. Oh, so if they're mad, they go for the face. Yeah, they, they go for the face. For the face. Woo! I'm like, so you want to look for the queen in the bottom chamber. You want to make sure the hive is healthy and those bees can go off to another hive and find a queen or vice versa. Well, yeah, you got to take care of the queen first uh, in any situation. That's why my doorman gives me my packages before anybody else in the building. It's kind of obvious that she's not, like, aware of beekeeping at all. Um, so, can you tell me more about their behavior? Mm. See what I did there? Now, isn't honey just regurgitated? Bee vomit, yeah, it's bee vomit. Hey, America, 
Honey is bee vomit. <laughs> Did you know that? So now we'll, now we'll, we'll go, we'll take this one and go in there and harvest, and we'll show you how to extract it. What began as a beautiful story of parental love has blossomed into a trailblazing black-owned business. This is pure yumminess. Hmm. What do you think? It's really good. And it has been inspiring to see the symbiotic relationship that has formed between humans and nature. Just keep me away from them fucking bees. So, young Zachary, <laughs> you see that your parents have done all of this and they got a whole bunch of death boxes in the back. They work very hard to keep you alive, young man. What do you plan to do with your life? I mean, I already like try to pitch in and do the most I can for the honey and for the business. Okay. <laughs> what have they had done for you? <laughs> well, my name is on it too. It's Zach and Zoe, so this yes. is for me too. Listen, our, our hope through this whole thing is that we've inspired uh, more people to be beekeepers, especially more people of color, yeah. to keep bees. Mind your bees wax. The puns. To uh, everybody. Anybody who reaches out, trouble, yeah. we're willing to help. Help them get started, help them point them in the right direction, talk about the books, the beekeeping clubs. Those that can do it, you can do it. Yeah. I really hope we made a beekeeper out of her, you know? I think we did, right? She's not too far from us. Straight my mind. No. It's trash! No! Yeah.